New Zealand spring lamb shortcut lamb leg. Do a long smoke, but first I'm gonna do a brine. Coarse salt, cloves, cheap beer. Lump charcoal, applewood. Three hours. Nine hours. That's how you know it's done. Fork tender. Nine hours or so. It is delicious. It is delicious. Okay, here we have our New Zealand spring lamb shortcut lamb leg. Which I got from the No Frills for 27 bucks. Gonna put it on the smoker, do a long smoke, but first I'm gonna do a brine. So got the pot out, got the coarse salt, some soy sauce, got some vinegar, got some cinnamon, some cloves, and some onion. Stick around, check it out. Like, comment, subscribe, it's gonna be good. Okay, we're gonna get our brine going here. Dissolve some of the stuff and get the flavors working. Some water, of course, to make a, like, a concentrated flavor bomb and then put that in the brine. Onions. A pile of coarse salt, I'm not measuring anything. I rarely do. What's the point? Gonna be good, I guarantee. Some cloves, some cinnamon, not too much, and some sugar, which I forgot to mention earlier. Also, not too much. I'll put the vinegar and uh, soy sauce in after it cools off and dilute it. The brine pot. Like I said, no measure. It's all good. Cheap soy sauce. Cheap beer. Always stir clockwise. It improves the flavor. Smells clovey and cinnamony and oniony. Okay, okay, that's good enough. Soy sauce, vinegar, water, basically. And now it's time for this bad boy. Or girl. There's what it looks like. That's hunk of meat. But I didn't shoot myself. Alright, I'm gonna put it in here. Ideally, I would submerge the whole thing, but I don't have a big enough pot, so. gonna go into the fridge overnight and we'll smoke it up tomorrow okay got our lump charcoal some wood to start the fire to get it going and applewood that's been soaking overnight we'll get this sucker going
And now it's time for fire starting technique that was passed down to me by an old friend that passed down to him by his father. I'm going to share it with you now. Yep, my audio cut out on me here. I was using new uh, wireless microphones. Not sure what happened. They disconnected or something. So you'll just have to imagine the grilling sound. Or I can make it for you, maybe, I guess. Okay, so here we have our smoked lamb leg. It's been on for about three hours. I just put it on a bed of potatoes, carrots, green peppers, and some garlic. And I'm going to let this go now for another hour or so. Maybe two, maybe three at like low heat. So it's already looking delicious. It's just going to get more tender and soak some of that uh, smoke flavor into the meat as well as the vegetables. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so here we have our lamb leg that in the end cooked for about nine hours. So she's done. Let's see how it tastes. First of all, we'll do a little uh, tenderness test here. So there is this bone protruding out that's the meat has kind of pulled away from because it's been cooking for so long. Twist that guy. Oh yeah. Pull it out. That's how you know it's done. It's nice and tender. Oh yeah, look at the color on that. Fork tender. That's looking pretty sweet. All right, let's try this out. It's been long awaited. Nine hours or so started out on the smoker with applewood and ended in the barbecue in the roasting pan. Total of nine hours. Let's try this deliciousness. I'm confident that uh, it's delicious. It's pulling apart. It's juicy, it's moist. It has a solid smoke aroma, not like overpowering or anything, but yeah, it, uh, it looks delicious and it is delicious. It is delicious. It's tender. It was on there long enough. It's pretty unforgiving. Pull it off too soon, not so forgiving. Leave it on too long, very forgiving. Can't really go wrong. Vegetables, also a solid smoke aroma. Soaked in off of the drippings there. Oh, it's delicious. Potatoes. 
Who doesn't love a good potato? Also delicious. Well, that's it for this one. Like, comment, subscribe. Go check out the other videos if you haven't already. Some more up there. Lots of fun stuff. More to come. Leave me some suggestions if you like. Or just see what comes around. Till next time.